Hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey, hey y'all, hey. Yeah, I'm driving again. Man of God, pray for me here. Pray for me here, cause um, I'm gonna do better. Just not today, okay? I gotta do. I gotta figure this out, and y'all gotta help me figure it out. Um, because I do. I I like. I actually like recording my videos in the car. Um, especially given yeah, I have to set up something in my house in my little place right now, but I don't have that yet. But um, I've been. You guys gotta be very very careful, y'all. Um. And this is, I'm, I'm making this video because it's not, it's, it's, <laughs> it's awareness. I'm sorry to be stuttering because I want, it, it's very important to be careful, to be careful, to not be offended in this season. Okay. Offense is one of the easiest ways for unforgiveness and bitterness to be, um, be a part of to take root in our hearts okay i want us to be very very careful um in this season to mature and to grow up to not allow um anything to clog up our ears to not allow immaturity to remove us from a position or a place that God is trying to get the get to the root of our um, circumstances, get to the root of what has prohibited us from getting to that next level, from breaking through that glass over top of our head that has kept us at a certain level. Um, I want us to be very sensitive and careful to not allow humiliation because the intention of humiliation is for um, oppression. The intention for embarrassment, the, the, the enemy likes to make us feel shame. The enemy wants us to, instead of allowing something to be healing for us or allowing something to be a tool to help us to mature he wants us to be offended so that we do not progress so that we feel humiliated and then it sends us to a state of oppression which then if you're oppressed and you have no peace you cannot operate in purpose and that is the agenda and the assignment of the enemy is to stop our purpose is to block us from our purpose and if he can do that then he succeeded and, and it may we we may feel as though who are we i'm like me i'm like man i'm nobody you know my little I, i'm making these videos and to be honest it's to obey god you know it's to obey god just like when i write and anything that i do in life i just want to obey god you know i want him to be pleased with my life and even in my ignorance i know that that is where his mercy and his grace will cover me that is my prayer consistently that even in my ignorance that his grace and his mercy covers me um but i don't want to stop the process of the progress of what god wants to do in my life for anybody else's because i just refuse to get out of my own way and be who god has called me to be you know be bold and courageous um y'all just stick to it okay even in in error even in don't allow the old the mindset of the old to be God cannot pour new wine into old wine skins because then they will burst. So allow yourself to be clothed in a new garment. Um, let's allow ourselves to grow mature and not allow what the enemy may have intended for evil to work against us. Let's not I, I have I have yeah i'm gonna share so much more um because like i recorded in the previous video the enemy if he cannot he wants to stop our purpose and our destiny and he knows that he can't do that so what he'll do is arrange situations and scenarios to 
force us to sabotage ourselves. Um, and uh, and and we have to like just grow up from that. You know, my prayer. I'm I'm talking to myself in this situation. I'm praying right now, God, for, praying right now fervently that those old wine skins be completely destroyed you know and when the enemy tries to come back again this time he's not going to find my house empty you know he will find that i filled it back up with prayer you know we cannot get to, and i will admit this i think i had gotten to a place where i was like all right god i got a hold on this thing now we can never get comfortable and complacent in our prayer life in our seeking God we can never get comfortable because that's when the enemy can come back with seven more demons stronger than the ones before and they take over us and have us operating in the spirit that you know God did not intend for us to I'm late for church y'all I gotta go to second so I love you guys so very much God loves you better best and the absolute most try to do something to separate yourself I'm telling you if I me right here if God can still if I, I'm the fact that I'm recording this video God did not take me out last night it's proof of the fact that there is nothing you can do to separate you from the love of a true and living God I love y'all God love you better best and the absolute most See y'all in the next video. Uh -huh.